Hi, how are you doing? I'm Karen Kay and I am the author of Messages from the Mermaids and also of Oracle of the Fairies too, in case you already know that deck. I hope you're doing well and I'm here at the bottom of my fairy garden in my little cabin and I'm really, really excited to be joining you all again today. Um, if you've seen my social media, then you will have seen that I'll be doing a little giveaway a bit later on. So do stay with me for that. And um, yeah, I hope you're all doing very, very well. If you're here, do say hi, let me know where you're from and how you're doing. <laughs> I have my wonderful son, Simeon Kay, who is doing my messages for me so he'll be checking the um the chat and calling out the people who are asking for a reading if you've been here before then you'll know that i do oracle readings from messages from the mermaids and we we pull cards and as i say a lot um if you're hearing a message and it's for somebody else but but it resonates with you then please do take it on board because the universe speaks to us in many ways and so do the mermaids. Mermaids are another expression of the divine, the same as fairies, the same as angels. The divine manifests in many different ways and I'm especially connected and in tune with the mermaids right now. And they have a lot to say and they want to share their watery wisdom with us all, which brings me to I'm actually doing an online Zoom workshop this Sunday as a part of the Healing Weekend online. So again, do check my social media. And if you're not already following me, it's at Karen K Fairy. It's very easy to find and you'll find all the information on there and on my website, which is karenk.co.uk. And I'll get my son to pop that in the comments. So, OK, now I will be doing a little meditation. I, before I do these um, Facebook Lives for Hay House, which I'm extremely grateful for to be here, to be sharing with you all, it's such an honour and a privilege for me. I like to take what I call a mermaid bath. And that basically, in, in very simple terms, it means putting salt, sea salt in the bath and making it feel very special and very myrrh. And then I tune in and connect to the mermaids and see what message comes through for me to share with you. And they have given me the most beautiful meditation that I will be sharing with you that ties in perfectly with the waning moon. So as you know, if you follow the moon, then you'll know that we've just recently come out of a full moon and we're going into the waning part. And this is a time for releasing. It's where we, we release the things that no longer serve us. And the mermaids have come in to share a really beautiful meditation. And um, I, I will be doing that very shortly. But what I'll do first is I will pull a card for us all here now. And if you're joining, welcome. And if you're joining on replay, welcome. <laughs> I like to swim in and out of the future and the past. When you're seeing this broadcast, when you're hearing me now, it doesn't matter where you are in time. It doesn't matter if you're watching live or in the future on a replay. If the messages resonate, then accept them because they're for you no matter where you are in space or time. Hopefully you're on planet Earth, but if you're not, that's fine too. <laughs> okay, so welcome 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 and it really is a joy for me to be here with you i love these facebook lives i love sharing with you and um it's just so nice to actually have this connection in a live way it's really really special okay so i'm going to shuffle the cards while i'm chatting away to you and i do tend to chat a lot <laughs> And thank you also to everybody who has actually purchased a copy of Messages from the Mermaids. And I have seen some of the reviews that you've left and, and honestly, they just make me feel so happy. They fill my mer fairy heart with so much joy and gratitude. I'm so pleased that you're resonating with them. And uh, oh, did you see that <laughs> flying fish card? Oh, I love this. I love all the cards, but I love this one. We have positivity. And I really hope this is the right way around. <laughs> positivity, isn't she fab? 
the mermaid of positivity oh that's so lovely and this is a message for all of us every single one of us all of you who are watching right this moment and in the future on the replay so positivity yeah this is really really beautiful and it can be challenging I'm fully aware of this you can't be in a positive space all the time but we can do our best to try and keep a positive attitude no matter what's going on around us and this mermaid has come in to share this watery wisdom with us saying yay I'm positive and you can be too and yes sometimes it doesn't come naturally to everybody that's true, I'm not saying it does, but sometimes we need a little extra boost in a positive direction. And it can just be catching yourself as you find your thoughts going off in perhaps a less positive way. And you can change those thoughts into little fishes or little bubbles and let them fly out of your mind and pop them or see them floating off into the ether. Now, Yes, there are things going on in the world and in our personal lives that, you know, it's hard to feel positive about. Let's be honest about this, but we can always count our blessings. It's about coming back to counting our blessings, looking at the things that we are grateful for, the things that, you know, bring that extra touch of magic into our lives. And when we give thanks, when we're counting our blessings, when we're looking for our blessings, that is an act of positivity. So positivity is everywhere. We just need to look for it and also uncover it within our own lives. So I really hope that you can take this and it doesn't mean that you can't get down sometimes and it doesn't mean that you can't cry and all of these things that we do as humans, this is totally normal and natural but it's how we deal with these things whilst they're happening. And as I said, the moon is waning at the moment, so the energy is about releasing. So if you have anything that you're dealing with that you would rather not be carrying, we can release this very shortly because I'll be doing a guided meditation visualization with you that came from my inspiration from the mermaids today in my mermaid bath. So positivity, for all of us, for each and every one, no matter what is going on in your life, take this glimmer of light, this glimmer of hope, this glimmer of positivity and embrace it into your heart. And you'll see that once you do feel positive, that it radiates out and others can feel your positivity too. And I might get my son to shut the door in a moment because we've got... Um, some scaffolding in the opposite garden uh, that they just decided to set up just before I was filming and I did speak to them and say oh could you please wait until after I finished and they did say yes so that's really really lovely of them uh, it's about communication isn't it with positivity not demanding just asking in a positive way and when you're asking for something also be prepared for the answer to be no because we can ask from our heart but people can say no, it's their right to say no as well as yes. So always be prepared to let it go when you're asking something. And this is just coming up purely because I'm hearing the tap, tap, tapping of the workmen outside. <laughs> but this is life. And actually, it's really interesting because they're tweaking with the phone lines, with the internet. So who knows what's going to happen, but this also ties in to Mercury being retrograde. And really, if you can laugh, let go, and as the mermaids would say, go with the flow, then all will be well, all is well. It's always well. No matter where we are, what's going on in life, look for the positivity. And we've got this. We have definitely got this. Okay, the mermaid of positivity. Just for us. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I will do the meditation to get us into the zone. So um, my son said I went into, into it a little bit quickly last week. So what I think is if we can get ourselves in a space of peace, breathing, feeling calm, feeling relaxed in the zone 
and no matter what is going on around you, outside of you, and this especially applies to me right now, <laughs> just try and focus on your inner world. Your inner world, there's always a space of peace within. And when you can tune into this, it feels good. It feels peaceful, it feels good, and it enables you to relax. So hopefully you're in a comfortable position and start to take some deep breaths. And as you breathe in, breathe in love, light, patience and peace and breathe out any cares and concerns. Breathe in love, light and peace and breathe out any concerns that you may have. And one more time, breathe in love, light and peace and breathe out any concerns, any cares, any concerns, anything that you wish to let go of. Ah, that feels good. Okay, so hopefully you're feeling nice and calm and relaxed now. Certainly more peaceful. Now close your eyes and visualise. See yourself on a beach, sitting on the shore. It's a beautiful day and the waves are gently flowing in and flowing out. It's idyllic, there's no one else on the beach except you. You have the whole beach to yourself. And it's beautiful, you can feel the warmth of the sun on your face, on your skin. And you absorb that beautiful life-giving energy from the sun. Stay in this space and enjoy the feeling the waves gently kissing the shore, the sun gently beaming down. It's beautiful, it's calm and it's peaceful. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice on the floor in front of you, on the beach, on the sand, there is a pen and there's some paper. You take the paper and the pen and you begin to write anything that you wish to release, anything that you wish to let go of, anything that no longer serves you. And take a few moments to do this. Perhaps it could be something that you've been holding on for many, many years or something recent something that doesn't feel in harmony, if you like, something that doesn't resonate with you currently, you can release this. Just write it down, whatever it is. And you can always come back to this meditation to continue if you need a bit longer. So once you've finished writing down what it is that you wish to release, Take the paper and start to roll it up in a tiny scroll. And then you look down again and you see a bottle, a tiny bottle with a little cork in it. It's a gift from the mermaids and they put it there when you wasn't looking. <laughs> you take the cork out of the bottle and you place your rolled up scroll with what it is that you wish to release inside the bottle and then you pop the cork in. Hold the bottle in your hands or against your heart and say, Mermaids, I release this with love for the highest and the greatest good of all. Please take this from me, take it deep into the sea so that it may be transmuted into love and light once again.
and then you take your bottle and you cast it out into the sea, throw it as far as you can and you see a magical mermaid leaping out of the water and catching your bottle. She or he gestures to you as if to say thank you and they hold your bottle to their heart and then they wave goodbye as they swim off into the distance taking your message in your bottle with them. Now release whatever it is that you wrote on your piece of paper. Fully release this knowing that the mermaids will take it away for you and transmute it. They will take it into the deep sea and don't worry about the glass in the bottle because the glass will be turned and transformed into sea glass. So next time you're on a beach and you find a little piece of sea glass, this will be confirmation for you and a reminder for you that your message, your message of releasing has been received and released and transmuted. Ah. <sighs> How wonderful is this? I really hope that this has helped you to release and we're doing this with the energy of the waning moon. And if you are interested in moonology, then do follow Yasmin Boland, who I'm sure many of you already do. She is a wonderful teacher and has a lot of knowledge about working with the cycles and the energy of the moon. And mermaids do this also because they live in the sea and the sea and the tides are affected, is affected by the moon. Okay, so you find yourself now back on the beach, put your hands into the sand and connect with the earth. Feel the sand in your fingers and then fully open your eyes and you're back here with me now. We give thanks to the mermaids for helping us to release what we needed to release. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on this very, very brief meditation journey or meditation, I call it now. <laughs>